Good evening. I wanted to do a short video about defense policy. I am the defense critic in the shadow cabinet for the Green Party. The reason why I'm doing this is because I happen to be talking to someone in Canada Carleton and they said that they'd heard that the Green Party was going to cut defense. There is no plan to cut defense spending whatsoever. Uh, if you do look in the costing document available online at greenparty.ca, that costing document uh, only discusses new spending. So you will not see defense listed there, but that is because defense is, uh, there won't be new spending, but the uh, current level will be maintained uh, next fiscal year. A couple of things about the Greens uh, approach to defense. I think it's incredibly, it's, it's wonderful. I'm very happy about it as uh, somebody who's ex-military uh, because it's pragmatic. Number one, the Green Party recognizes that the security and defense of a nation is a fundamental responsibility of any sovereign government. Number two, it also recognizes that uh, militaries around the world have, have recognized climate change for what it is. It is a threat multiplier. So they see climate change as being a serious threat to our national security. And therefore, they recognize that Canada should have a general purpose combat capable force. Now, sorry, ambulance going by. Anyways, F-35s. So if you read Mission Possible, uh, Mission Possible states that the Greens will cancel a uh, purchase of F-35s and buy water bombers to fight forest fires. Just, I wanted to clarify that point. The plan is to cancel the F-35 purchase because the Greens are not convinced the F-35 platform is necessary, but they do still intend to find an appropriate jet, basically, uh, to replace the uh, CF-18s. Uh, and procurement. Uh, this one I threw in. Um, but this is something that I will work for, and, and I'm confident the Greens see this as an issue. Oftentimes, D&D &D gets quite, it gets sufficient spending from year to year and is unable to utilize all its funding because it's unable to, uh, procurements are, uh, I believe, a bit of a nightmare. Uh, anyways, there's room for improvement there. And uh, so for me, what I would like to see going forward is that procurements need to be streamlined and most likely we need to get certain things like lobbying interests, political interests, especially regional politics. We need to get those out of the way as much as is possible so that we can basically get the equipment and resources for D&D &D when it is needed. And I believe that's basically about it. I just wanted to clarify the points about defense spending and the Greens uh, general approach uh, to national defense. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you.